Hello, welcome to archerytrailsonline.com. My name is Paul Priestley. Today we're going to be looking at how to draw animals. This is the second in my series and we're going to be looking at how to draw a giraffe. It's designed for beginners. You! So, let's make a start! To start our giraffe, we're going to start with a nice big oval shape. So we sketch that out first of all. This is going to be for the main body. A smaller vertical oval for the back legs, another one here for the front legs and the shoulder, which is very high. And then there's a joint at the front here, which we're going to make use of. So we measure the width of that, and that will give us approximately the length of the legs. So we're going to make a mark there for the where the legs are going to be. Measure it again. It's again the approximate the length of the neck. So we can draw a little oval shape for the head. Now the front of the head is a sort of triangle shape. We'll come back to that later on. Now to draw the neck, you can see how the neck comes down, goes over that joint at the top there. You see the tall shoulder joint. Okay, bring that down across the top. We'll just square this off, Put just suggest the uh, horns at the front there. You see uh, with the head, it's just a gentle curve two gentle curves you see how that works a little bit at the front so it's quite an interesting shaped head uh, with the neck it obviously gets wider as it gets down to the body as you can see which you want to do as a gentle curve now you can see this top joint here the legs that are jointed at the top they're also jointed at the knee which is what we're going to do next you see i've made a little mark about halfway down just to show where the knees are in relation to the leg itself so we do the same with the back leg as well, come in, curve out a little bit for the joint of the elbow and then down to the foot. Same at the front here, slight curve in front of the elbows you can see and then gentle curve down to the foot and simply just repeat that for the back leg. So what we're trying to do is to get the basic shapes in first of all, drawing it very lightly in pencil. I'm just using an HB pencil here. You'd notice that um, the legs are quite thin. Um, if you look at a giraffe compared to its body, the legs are quite thin. So we just really don't make, make them too fat, but just make sure you get that joint right and then that other joint down by the ankle. Tummy usually is quite a nice curved shape, as we can see there. Just put in the tail. Um, it's usually a long tail with almost like a big fan at the end of it, which it uses to flap things around with. Okay, I've changed my uh, pencil now to a 2B pencil, so this is a little bit stronger. And we're just going to go around the edge. This is where we can start making subtle changes to the shapes. So if there's anything that you've got wrong at this stage, you can simply draw over it. You see, draw a few little joints here, come down the side. Uh, you'll notice now, try to identify where those knees are particularly. You see, you just get the knee shapes, bulges at the knee. Here we've got the top shoulder joint come down, bulge at the knee again, same sort of thing. So we're going round these curves. In this case, I'm just going over the lines, but you might need to make slight adjustments. Coming up over the head there, just to suggest the horns again. There we are, come down for the back of the neck. You see there's a sort of concave section there, and then it curves the opposite way. It's quite an unusual thing, the neck but it must be much wider at the bottom, as you can see. Again, down the legs, notice the joint, the top of the leg goes right into the body there, so you must make sure that's nice and firm and nice and strongly defined. Little joint line there, just to suggest the ankle bone, uh, the elbow bone, there we go. Okay, and we'll just finish off then with the, the tail. Now, once we've drawn out the outline as you can see here. I've just done this again simply so that you can make minor adjustments as you've gone along. But if you've done the first layer quite convincingly, then there may not be a need for doing the, another outline. But we start putting the, the mane on now for the giraffe. You see, it's just a simple line. And I'm gonna use my 2B pencil now to do some shading. Now, you'll notice an interesting thing here. If I shade the back legs, have you noticed how it makes the front legs stand out? And by doing this, it makes the animal now look much more three-dimensional. You see, it looks as though it's standing on four legs, and two legs are behind the others, which is really interesting. So just add a little bit more light and shade, just to suggest 
the sort of three dimensionality of this um, animal. That's an interesting word, isn't it? Three dimensionality. But there we go. Okay, a little bit round his stomach, you see, because obviously light tends to come from above. So underneath his stomach is going to be in shadow, as you can see there. There we go. Just put a few little marks on the bottom there, just to show it looks as though he's actually standing in space and not floating about somewhere. Work on the main, as you can see here. Now, I'm going back to my HB pencil now to draw out the pattern. And the pattern is basically square shapes, although some of them are quite unusual in their shapes. But they do leave gaps so you've got like little tracks in between the pattern and you must try and preserve that if you can. But you'll notice here, you see how rough those rectangles, squares are, but they fit together like uh, tiles on a wall and then gradually reduce as they come down the leg. So if you can block those in, uh, I'm doing them obviously quite quickly here. I've speeded this up so you can see what's going on, but um, you just need to block them in quite carefully. It now looks much more like a giraffe, you see. You can see the shape beginning to develop. And again, as we saw with the other legs, the sections get much smaller as they come down the legs. So they've just got a few little touches. Now, we're just going to fill these little sections in now, um, as you can see. I'm just shading them in with, a um, again, an HB pencil. So it's quite light. You don't want to make them too dark at this stage because we're going to put a few little darker bits on later on. But you can see now, just by doing these simple stages, simple techniques, stage by stage, that the giraffe can look quite convincing. You don't need to put the detail on right at the beginning. You must start with the simple shapes, simple basic shapes. Get those correct first, then the proportions are right. But without doing that, the rest of it doesn't work. So we've finished that. We'll just come now to adding a few little darker marks just to um, fit in at the top here. Look, we're going over this. There we go. That's it. So just a few. You can spend a little bit more time doing this a bit more uh, carefully as, if you wish, just to get those sections produced. Now, just a little tip. You'll notice I've got quite a strong outline around my animal. If you shade very strongly up to the outline, you create an edge. And you can see here where the legs are. I've created an edge and it looks so much more three-dimensional. Good luck with your drawing. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching ArchTutorialsOnline.com. If you have enjoyed the video, then please subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking here um, and share it with your friends. That would be brilliant.